Today's video is going to be a quick guide on how to hunt felled up weasels in Old School RuneScape. For the requirements, you need 7 Hunter and a new swan in order to catch these. You'll get 48 Hunter XP per catch. And as far as the loot table goes, there is not much on it. You have bones, felled up weasel fur, and raw beast meat. So nothing too crazy with GE prices or anything like that. Definitely a low level hunter method that honestly isn't really worth doing, which brings up my next point. If you haven't done the natural history quiz that is in the Varrock Museum in the basement, make sure you go do that. You can get from level one to nine, or in this case, seven to maybe like 12 or something like that. So not 100% sure how much experience and how many levels you'll get from that, but I highly recommend if you're trying to do some early level hunter that you give that a go first and then maybe start questing because these lower level hunter methods aren't the best. But if for some reason you need to do them, I do recommend having Graceful. If you have it, it'll make things a lot easier. Run around with your heck it off or Staminas and Super Energy Potions are also recommended. However, you can make the running around less stressful and tedious if you bring the Ring of Pursuit, which I highly recommend and bringing a ring of pursuit because the ring of pursuit actually shows you all the tracks and where the weasel will end up at the end so you can just go right to the end instead of running around and tracking it so i'll show you without the ring of pursuit and i'll show you with the ring of pursuit and how big of a difference it is also you'll need a new swan and recommended teleport to the bank just so that you are able to get out of this location and back to a bank to go to your next task or go on to the next thing now as far as the location goes they are located in the Feldips Hills Hunter area. There's a couple different ways that you can get there. You can use Fairy Ring AKS and run to the south. They are located around this area. You can also use the Feldip Hills Teleport. You can go to Corsair's Cove and just run north. You can also go to the Myths Guild and then run northeast. Those are some of the easier ways to get there and the ways that I recommend. You can also use the Gnome Glider if you have access to it. So that said, I personally am going to use Fairy Ring AKS to get there. Remember, if you are using a Fairy Ring, make sure that you have your Draymon Staff if you don't have the Lumbridge Elite Diaries done. Otherwise, you're going to be in for a bad time and have to go back to the bank. We are, again, going to run directly south from the Fairy Ring, and we should be able to see them pretty quickly as we run down here. And you're going to run past all of these barbtail cabots and run past the spine larupa and you should see them a little bit more over here towards the west here is one of the spots and here is the starting spot in the burrow so again i'm going to do this without the ring of pursuit on and equipped but the ring of pursuit i highly recommend just because it makes everything really easy and also it has very low requirements so we're going to go ahead and equip our new swan and we are going to inspect this burrow and the thing you are looking for are these tracks and you're going to have to follow the tracks and now you're going to run up to this bush and then search the bush again if you don't see anything you're just going to try to start inspecting different things around here so it might have been this plant could have been this plant but you're just going to keep following the tracks and you're going to look for a bush like this that says attack and after one or two times you may actually be able to find the weasel now you're just going to keep going and inspecting all these different plants so hopefully that you will be able to find the next location. And there we go. So it looks like this goes to a bush. So we're gonna go ahead and attack the bush because it's been a couple of times tracking and it is not in the bush. So we're gonna keep going and we're gonna have to keep trying to inspect these different things. Keep going with the tracks. Again, it's right next to a bush. So we're gonna go ahead and attack it. And there you go. We got the XP for it and we did get the drop. Now, that was really fun and all, but check this out. If we throw on the ring of pursuit real quick and we go and inspect the burrow, check it. Boom, it's going to do this whole thing, which makes it nice and confusing, but it looks like we would have went down and then we would have went around and now we're going over here to the left and it looks like it ends at this bush. So we're going to go ahead and just right click attack that bush and boom, there it is. That is fantastic. That is why the Ring of Pursuit is great because you would have had to run around, try to inspect all these bushes. It would have been really annoying to do. So it's just way better if you just have that Ring of Pursuit. Trust me, it is highly worth it. The ring itself is very cheap to make and i'm sure it's not super expensive at the ge either especially if you're trying to do hunting and tracking it doesn't work on herbivore but otherwise it works to my knowledge for tracking anyway guys that is all there is to catching felled up weasels if you guys have any questions make sure you leave them in the comment section down below and i will get to those if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel i do appreciate it leave a like for the algorithm also channel memberships are now live and if you become a member you will get access to all of my videos early 
currently, at the time of recording this video, I am three weeks ahead on video, so you will have like 15 videos extra to watch that aren't released yet, but are scheduled on my YouTube channel to come out in the future. Again, I release videos every other day, but I try to stay ahead of schedule. You'll also get chat badges and chat emotes when I go live, which is also something that's pretty cool to have as well for my live streams. Also, if you enjoy caffeine, make sure you check out Rogue Energy in the description below and use code Roland at checkout for 20% off. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.